Life in the USA, Food Safety, read to you by Carol Brigham. Are you having people over to celebrate the holidays? Will you have a formal meal or an open house where food is out all day for people to enjoy? Anytime you make food for people, it is very important to know how to buy, cook, and store it safely. There are almost 50 million cases of food poisoning in the United States each year. 3,000 people in the U.S. die each year from eating contaminated or spoiled food. The Centers for Disease Control, CDC, has many tips to help you and your family avoid food poisoning. Buy fresh food. Look at the sell-by, best-by, or use-by dates on food packages. Buy only food that you will eat or freeze before this expiration date. Keep perishable food cold. Bacteria grow quickly in milk, eggs, meat, poultry, and fish. When you go shopping on warm days, buy these and other perishable foods last. Put them in an insulated bag with an ice pack. Get your food home and into the freezer or refrigerator quickly. If you will not eat the meat or fish soon, freeze it immediately. Check the temperature of your refrigerator with a thermometer. It is best between 34 to 37 degrees Fahrenheit. The freezer should be at zero degrees. Defrost frozen food safely. Defrost frozen meats and fish in the refrigerator. If you don't have time, you can put a frozen package in a plastic bag and seal it tightly. Put the bag into a large pot of cool water. Change the water every half hour or let cold water run slowly into and out of the pot. Some people use their microwave to defrost frozen food, but it can spoil the taste of meats. Cook food immediately after defrosting. Do not refreeze meat, poultry, or fish that has been defrosted. Use your nose. Meat may look good, but still be spoiled. Smell it. Spoiled meat gives off a bad smell. Fish that is spoiling gives off a smell of ammonia. Spoiled milk has a sour smell. When in doubt, throw it out. Keep everything clean. Wash your hands well before you prepare food. Wash your hands also after touching raw meat, chicken, or fish. The juices and blood from raw meat and chicken can carry dangerous bacteria. Do not get these juices on your other food. Wooden cutting boards hold bacteria. Wash meat juices off quickly. Wash the cutting board with one quart of water that has one teaspoon of chlorine bleach in it. Then rinse the board well. Wash the dishes, knives, forks, table, and counter that any raw meat has touched. Cook food safely. Buy a meat thermometer. Cook meat to the correct internal temperature. Beef, veal, and lamb steaks, roasts and chops to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Ground beef to 160 degrees Fahrenheit ground chicken and turkey to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, cook pork to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, and whole chickens or turkey to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Serve food on clean plates. Put the leftovers in the refrigerator. The danger zone. Bacteria on food grows fastest between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. 4 degrees Celsius, and 60 degrees Celsius. Keep food below or above this danger zone. The FDA advises people to follow the two-hour rule. Throw away meat and other such perishable food that has been at room temperature for longer than two hours. In very hot weather, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, throw away perishable food after one hour. Canned food. Don't buy dented cans. Throw away cans after their expiration dates. Check the seal on bottles, jars, and other containers to be sure they have not been opened. 
If you find a jar or a can with a lid or top that bulges up, do not open it. Throw it out. It may cause botulism, a deadly form of food poisoning. Eggs, fish, and shellfish. Salmonella germs grow quickly in eggs. Do not buy broken or cracked eggs. Do not eat raw eggs or food with raw eggs in it. Almost all fish have some mercury in them. This is a toxin that can harm the brains of young children. Children and pregnant women should not eat high mercury fish, such as shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish. It's okay to eat up to 12 ounces a week of canned light tuna and other low mercury fish, such as salmon, catfish, haddock, tilapia, and flounder. Cook fish until it is opaque. Raw fish may contain parasites. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables have bacteria on them from the soil they grew in. They may also have pesticides that farmers use to kill insects. In the store, employees may spray fungicides and other chemicals on produce to help it stay fresh. Watch all fruits and vegetables before you eat them. Peel fruit when you can. Are you diabetic? Sugar is dangerous for people with diabetes. Check the labels on food for different kinds of sugar. Corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, maltose, rice syrup, Maple syrup, molasses, and honey are all forms of sugar. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin may have side effects for many people. If you want to sweeten tea, coffee, or yogurt, try stevia. Stevia is a natural, no-calorie sweetener that seems safe for anyone, including people with diabetes. Do you have allergies? Many people are allergic to peanuts, eggs, wheat, gluten, soy, and other common foods. Check food labels to be sure that the food is safe for you. To learn more, go to the food safety website of the Food and Drug Administration, www.foodsafety.gov. For more information about Easy English News and to subscribe to our digital and paper editions, visit our website easyenglishnews.com.